Ingredients are two and a half cups of whole milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream, one cup of baker's sugar or caster sugar, three teaspoons of gelatin, three teaspoons of water to put in the gelatin, one vanilla bean. For our blueberry topping, we have six ounces of fresh blueberries and two teaspoons of caster sugar. For the gelatin, pour in your water and this will help the gelatin to dissolve in the panna cotta. Just stir it up with your finger a little bit. For the vanilla bean, we want to get all of the seeds out. So slice it lengthwise. With the back of your knife, scrape out all of the delicious vanilla beans. Like so. On a medium heat in a saucepan, you will need your whisk. Pour in your two and a half cups of whole milk, one cup of the heavy whipping cream, your cup of sugar, whisk and bring up to a low simmer. Not a boil, you don't want to boil this. Add your vanilla, Throw in your whole vanilla pod, whisk to dissolve your vanilla, and we'll take that vanilla pod out later. Finally, your gelatin. Whisk to completely dissolve your gelatin. Now that the gelatin is completely dissolved, Remove from the heat and let cool to room temperature. Now that the panna cotta has cooled to room temperature, pull out your vanilla pod and then fill each ramekin. Take a piece of cling film, loosely put it over and press it down so that you don't have any air between the cling film and the panna cotta. Place in the refrigerator to fully set and you can do these the night before or up to six to eight hours before serving. Okay, on a medium heat six ounces of fresh blueberries, two tablespoons of sugar, about two tablespoons of water, and cook down until your blueberries have become softened and makes a syrup. Okay, now that our blueberries have broken down and made a nice syrup, take them off the heat and let them completely cool. Okay, to loosen up your panna cotta, put it in some warm water, and that will warm up the bottom and help it to release from the ramekin. Just put it in for about 10 seconds. Take a plate, turn it upside down over the ramekin, flip it over, give it a little wiggle. If it doesn't release, take a butter knife, release it around the side, put the plate back over, turn it over, and there we go. Take your blueberry topping and just drizzle it around the sides. And 
even a little bit over the top. 